Okay, so in this video, we're going to start, we're going to look at Romberg integration. Now, of course, this particular video, um, you can just uh, learn Romberg integration from this video, but ideally, you um, in earlier videos, we've looked at the uh, Newton quotes and then the uh, trapezoidal Simpson's rule, uh, one third, three eighth, and then the composite trapezoidal and composite Simpson's rules. Um, now, and then, of course, uh, don't forget Richardson extrapolation, which are the basis for, in fact, um, and lead to uh, Romberg integration. Now, you don't need to know any of those necessarily. To, uh, this video should be able to um, get you to, uh, uh, to start working with um, uh, the Romberg integration uh, without much uh, problem. So to start with, um, the Romberg integration is more a technique that uh, is independent of the integration uh, rule that we use. For instance, trapezoidal could be used as a base. You could also use the 1 3rd Simpson or the 3 8 Simpson or any other that the Newton quotes uh, might generate. Now, the important thing to understand is this, the composite rules that form the basis of uh, um, uh, Romberg integration, not uh, the Newton Coates originals. So um, you, you need to look at the composite. So we are going to start with, which everybody does, it's the trapezoidal rule. So I've quickly uh, um, uh, restated it here for you. So any integral a to b f x dx is just h over 2 f a. And that's the standard formula. This The accuracy of the trapezoidal is, of course, order h squared. The h here is, of course, b minus a over n, and xi is xi minus 1 plus h. Now, um, this is the standard uh, composite trapezoidal rule. Now, the, what we need to do is we need to look at where does the Romberg idea uh, come into this? What is Romberg integration about? Well, so the first thing we have to uh, try to get to grips with is the notation. So, um, some uh, most most in most textbooks you'll find R11 where R represents the the or represents our Romberg integration. The second number here, this number here, represents the sweep, essentially, which I'm going to call a sweep, where you um, uh, run through some Romberg integration, some integrals, you calculate some approximations. And in this case, when this number is 1, which is the smallest, um, I don't think usually people go to 0, but um, it, when this is 1, it means that what you're really calculating is just the Romberg integral. Uh, with halved, so you're using the trapezoidal, so it's not really Romberg's contribution yet. The, it's more like in this case the trapezoidal rule with um, the uh, uh, with n equals one, and then you have the n and you end up with r. Uh, sorry, r one. Uh, sorry, r two one, and that would be half the size. So for instance, if r one one is uh, for the sake of argument, the standard trapezoidal with just um, uh, this one, okay? So that means h is just b minus a in this case here. h is just b minus a. Then um, r21 is in fact h over, uh, it's still, uh, it's going to be h over 4, which is half the size. But then you'll have fa plus, of course, um, the summations will begin. So you'll have um, f at a plus h um, over 2, okay, um, plus fb, right? So um, this uh, will continue then in this manner. Uh, uh, and as you go down here, r3 one will be similarly half of this, so it'll be ha uh, h over 8 then, and it'll be fa plus you'll have f of a plus uh, h over uh, 8, no, h over 4, sorry, okay, plus f of uh, a plus h over 2, a half, and so on till you reach, of course, um, and oh, oh, sorry, pardon me. This has to have a 2 with it, and these will all be in a bracket with a 2 outside. Okay, and this will end, and when it ends, uh, the last thing left is just f of b. Now, that is how we would, um, this is just a repeating of the trapezoidal rule, essentially, and this can continue on 
uh, for as many times as you wish. Now, this, as I said, if you see these numbers, these are all ones. That in, in that means what we're really just doing is using the trapezoidal rule here. And all we're doing is, if you notice these, these are halves. They're being halved every time as we proceed. So, now, uh, when notation-wise, uh, we now introduce this second number. So the second number um, requires us to look at, in fact, uh, some formulae. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say k here for the time being. Okay, and I'm going to call this, uh, this is going to be the second sweep. So this is the first actual improvement of the trapezoidal. So this is, in fact, using Richa Richardson's extrapolation, if you remember that uh, from the video. So here... That means we'll use the formula is RK1 and one third of RK1, of course, minus uh, RK minus one, uh, one. So that basically uh, with, and of course here K starts at two and so on. Now, it means that what it means essentially is that if we look at the first of these, which is the first value here is R22, therefore. There's no R12, it's R22. And what that's going to be doing is basically it's going to take R, uh, K is now remember 2, so it's going to take 2, 1. Now 2, 1 is this value here, okay? So it's going to take this value and then plus 1 third of R21 minus R11. So then you can also also realize why this uh, k is always starting at 2 and why this is 2, 2 always because 2, 1 and then you subtract off the r11. One, one. So you, if you started with r11, one, one, there's nothing before that. So so in anyway, this is uh, basically gives us the second round. And in this way, uh, we can continue on uh, to produce some iterations, some improved iterations. So then you can have in the same way r32. And R32 is just going to be uh, 3, 1 plus 1 third R3, 1 minus R2, uh, 1, in fact. So, and, and, and you can continue in this way for as many, uh, depends on how many you have here. And from that, you can generate these. Now, um, I can't go any further, as you know, because I have just till R3, 1. So in other words, for me to go to R4, 2, I need R4, 1 as well. Okay, so this is... This would produce like what's called a second sweep, and this is an improvement, actually. So this is an extrapolation. This is actually an application of Richardson's extra extrapolation applied to uh, applied to uh, the trapezoidal rule. Now, if we go for a second round, the second round, the formula is more like this. Now you see the number three here, which means second sweep. So the first is the trapezoidal, then the second sweep is the, um, sorry, uh, is the ROM, is the first improvement, and now we're going for the second improvement. So you'll see it has the same structure. The only thing you'll see different here is really this uh, a coefficient here and this, and this coefficient here. So these numbers uh, will keep changing uh, for every sweep uh, as you go along. Now uh, there is a generalized formula for this, which I will put here for you, which is that uh, in general. RKJ, okay, is equal to RK, of course, and J minus one, so it's one less uh, always, plus, and it, this key uh, number here is in fact calculated as follows, J minus one is uh, power four, four to the power J minus one, sorry, and then subtract one from it, and uh, then you got RK J minus one minus R K minus one J minus one, and so that would really complete this. And so K here, of course, is assumed to be, uh, in fact, uh, J, J plus one, and so on. So you can see we can easily generate uh, if we look at the situation where J was two. Uh, you can see the R K one uh, comes from it, and the power here four to the two minus one. Uh, is just so that's four minus one is three. Now, if you go for j uh, three, uh, you'll see four squared sixteen minus one. The next one that's coming is for j equals uh, four. Four four is a sixteen. For sixty four minus one is sixty three. So you can very easily generate uh, every time whatever sweeps um, or iterations you need of the Romberg. 
So that basically covers, and in this manner, we can keep uh, calculating. And what ends up is we end up with something like a table. Usually, it's much better to uh, look at the table format. It shows us some interest. So the way we do a Romberg table, okay, and I'm going to demonstrate, we'll quickly show you this here. Um, the way it works is as follows. So you start with, for instance, a trapezoidal, composite trapezoidal root, so R1, R2, R3, and you keep going on till, um, for instance, R, uh, N, uh, 1. So that's your first um, sweep of it. And of course, this is an order H squared uh, method, um, uh, approximately, uh, and that would be the trapezoidal. Then, you go to the first improvement, and that gives you your R2, 2, okay, and then you go R3, 2, and you go all the way down to R, N, 2. And that is an order H4 uh, method, and that, okay, is uh, one um, sweep of an improvement. Then you go down further, and you go down to the third improvement uh, level, and that is 3-3 three, three here, and that goes all the way down to N3. And this way, we continue uh, all the way down to our RNN. -N. Now, this, as I said, is this one is order H4. This one, this, this whole column is order H6. Uh, okay. And it continues till this one, which is order H to the 2N. Okay. All right. So, um, and obviously, one thing important you need to keep in mind, each of these is an approximation to the integral that you are computing, whatever integral that might be. And in any Romberg table that you decide to construct, because it depends on how many um, uh, of these integrals you wish to calculate, it is this final integral here that is your best approximation okay, uh, to the uh, integral you wish to compute. And we'll stop here. In the next video, we'll look at an actual example.